Ian Waterman woke up one morning and lost his body. He looked down and he could see it, but he couldn't feel it. He knew that one leg was under the bedclothes and one wasn't because he could sense a change in temperature. But he couldn't move it and he didn't know what had happened to him. He'd caught a virus, it affected the base of his neck and went throughout his entire body from the neck down. And it basically switched off his position sense in space, the thing that tells you where you are, and also all sense of touch. If you put your arm in the air like that, you know where your arm is. If you close your eyes, you still have an arm. But for Ian, when he closed his eyes, he didn't have an arm. He was nothing more than just a head floating on a pillow. I see my hand, but I don't feel my hand. I went to the theatre once, and there was a complete blackout. And I fell off the chair. Ian spent many weeks in hospital, just lying there initially. But like I say, he wasn't paralysed, he was just unable to move. So he had to relearn how to move. All the things we take for granted, he had to reconstruct it for himself. With the help of the nurses, they little by little he began to sit up, and eventually he was able to stand. So he was developing strategies all the time in order to be able to re-enter the world. He could walk, but he would have to watch, literally look at everything he's doing, pay attention to everything. If he was distracted, or then he'd fall over. And if he fell over, he wouldn't feel the hardness of the floor, he just felt the coolness of the floor. But little by little, he developed more and more strategies, moved around a little bit more, gesturing and beginning to function in the world again. But if there was a little incline, he wouldn't detect it and he wouldn't sense it, and then he'd just fall over again. I asked him once whether he could sit on a chair backwards, like this. That's something we do without thinking. I did it there completely automatically. Ian looked at it and he said, yeah, I can do that. But I have to work it out. It might take me some time. I see the chair. I see my hand. I see my hand on the chair. But I don't feel the chair. So let's meet Ian. The sound, I, I, whenever I'm working with my hands or, or doing something with my hands, I'm not just looking and thinking about hands, I'm also attending to sound. Yeah. I mean, I can't get anything from my pocket because I can't feel it terribly well. You know, I can't, I can't do something, I can't. See, often if someone passes me a cup, I would grab it awkwardly because I don't have the feedback of something coming from the fingertips saying you've actually picked up the cup incorrectly or taken it incorrectly. No, our, our hands do actions, they pick up cups, they gesture, they dress us, mm -hmm. um, you play with them, mm -hmm. but sometimes they're used in an affectionate manner yes. to touch someone else. There was a time fairly early on in when you had the problem that you were being nursed, as I remember. Yes. Yeah. Where are you going with this? <laughs> <laughs> and um, your hand accidentally drifted. Onto a young nurse's breast. Yeah, well, tell me about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you only just got over the litigation. <laughs> no, I was, I was in hospital at Oddstock, and um, I'd made one of my 
bold gestures. Like, let's go back. I was sat on the edge of my bed and a nurse was sat next to me and I was making a, a gesture uh, pointing to another part of the ward or something, whatever. And my hand brushed her breast and she slapped my face. And, you know, I said, what was that all about? She said, well, she said, you know, you just don't do that. I said, do what? She said, you just don't go touching people's breasts like that. I said, well, I didn't know that I had. And I hadn't noticed that that's what I'd done. You know, I wouldn't have mind getting slapped man in the face if I'd gone for it, but I hadn't. You know, I just, you know, so, but it, it's... But you wouldn't have got any pleasure even if you'd known... Even if I'd gone for it, I wouldn't have got any feedback. You'd st but, accept the slap, slap face. Yeah, but apart, I mean, there's a, there's a jokey side to this, but there's also a very serious side. The fact that I don't get feedback does not mean that I wouldn't want to caress a woman's breast or stroke a cat or pat a dog or whatever. I still want to do those things.